He doesn't listen to us. Stop. His barking is on another level. The seagulls, the wind, children. OK. Teddy? I see, OK. And just like that, he's off. He barks all the time at everything. Any slight noise that triggers him off, and he's just bark, bark, bark. Now, I just saw him get up and run out. I didn't hear a noise. No. But he did. No. Yeah. He could be laying in that basket in his bed, and it could, to us, be dead quiet, and all of a sudden, he's gone full yeah. help. Yeah, yeah. And okay. barking at the top of his okay. little voice. He, he was on my lap there, oh. heard something, and he was gone. His, his nail caught me, and that's and We didn't yesterday. hear anything. And, and then he'll just sniff and bark around an area. That worries me, because all dogs bark. Yeah. That's just normal, but not constantly. The barking. He is very sound sensitive, so any little noise is going to trigger him. Yeah. And so when he hears a sound, he goes like this, runs towards it. The noises make Teddy even more anxious as he tries to work out if they're friend or foe. This training is going to help cut through what he's barking at so that he can run right back to you. I call it the back and forth game and it's just all centered around fun. You say, Teddy, here, and then when Teddy is with you and he's eaten the little treat that he's going to get, you then say, Teddy, here, and then you're going to go backwards and forwards, OK? Backwards and forwards. Designed to lower Teddy's stress levels, this simple strategy... Call Teddy, Teddy to you now. here. ..pulls Teddy's focus away from noises back on Jane and Mike. Lovely. Now, Mike. Teddy, here. And drop food on the ground. Good. Very nice. Tell him good boy. Good boy. You call? Teddy here. Teddy here. Don't look at him. Ignore. Teddy here. Yes. Oh, yes, this is a fun game, but it's also going to enrich his life. And we find that barkers, they need a bit more enrichment. Teddy here. Nice. When you call, say, Teddy here. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He does. Make it high, okay. because then he's going to be like, oh, that's more exciting for him. Mike, you've got to find that voice somewhere. After a little practice... Teddy! <laughs> both Jane and Mike are happily going up a few octaves. Oh. Teddy! Here! I don't think he's ever heard that voice from you before. <laughs> I haven't either. And you haven't? <laughs> <laughs> And soon, Teddy's no longer barking at his usual triggers. <gasps> Teddy, here! Oh, nice. Oh, good beautiful boy. reaction. Good oh, boy. he was looking at that bird. He so wanted to bark, and you got him. Good boy! <laughs> it's, it's unreal, the influence and the impact that she has. Yeah. Straight away. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You got slothy. That's all it is. We just got to play more with our dogs. Teddy absolutely smashed it. It was awesome. It's such a simple thing to do, and it's blown my mind completely. Teddy, here. Good boy. Teddy, here. Teddy, here. We can now control him mid bark 90% of the time. Yeah. Teddy, here. <laughs> Good boy. Just like that. Matter. Prior to Victoria coming here, he wouldn't have stopped barking then. He would have carried on and on and on. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.